Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the couch with the two stinky doggies here, and as you can see, I've got a whole pile of gear here. This is me packing up for a week-long wilderness adventure. Now, if you've been following the channel lately, you'll know that me and Funk have been watching Funk's mom. She's been staying here uh, because she's been... What are you doing? Are you licking the couch? What are you doing down there? Anyways, you little stinky stinker um yeah she had a crazy surgery a whole lot of craziness happened she was in all sorts of crazy amounts of pain so we've been having her stay here and um i we've been pretty much just watching her and pretty much until like i think it was wednesday a few days ago uh she has been just screaming in pain it's been terrible we've just been Yada yada yada. Long story short, uh, we've been just helping her out, monitoring her, making sure she's okay. And she just Wednesday, just like it, kind of just happened where she gets all of a sudden the pain kind of subsided enough to where she can go back home. And she's walking around now. And uh, yeah, she's she's not like done, but like the intense, insane pain is over with. So I immediately planned a trip and. We are leaving tomorrow morning, bright and early. Well, today, like I said, a few hours from now. We'll see how much sleep I get. I always struggle to sleep the night before. But anyways, what I'm gonna do here is we are gonna rapidly go through everything I'm bringing on the trip. Now, a lot of things I will say by name and like say exactly what it is. Other stuff, I'm just gonna be like, blah, 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 first aid kit, I've got this in there. So, we're about to do it. I'd like to say it's short, but, uh, Probably gonna be longer, a lot of me blabbing, but uh, here we go. Here is all the gear and everything that I am bringing on a week-long wilderness adventure. By the way, I also wanted to quickly mention that I am bringing only Monty, not the Roots. Monty is my adventure buddy when it comes to like, a long solo trip because I cannot have both dogs in my boat uh, going over big lakes and doing long trips. It's just, it's just not feasible. And Monty is the master of the canoe. He is freshly groomed and just bathed, and he's got a, just a nice butt cut, and he's all just ready for adventure. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I have to, I have to like, we're going to give me the guilty eyes. Also, we're watching Frodo for another month or so. He's actually cuddling with Funk right now, and they're passed out because it's late at night. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm bringing a tackle box. Uh, I'm not going to go through what's in here, but I got a little. Hook getter outers, I've got a couple stringers, got some chartreuse slayers, jig heads, leaders, all sorts of stuff, backup line. Yeah, that's that. Um, I've got myself a net here, hopefully there's no holes so no Larry's get out. We've got my canoe seat, which is a GCI outdoor little canoe seat. Uh, my life preserver here is a NRS Chinook men's life preserver. I like it because it's got the, the high back so it goes above your seat. It doesn't like sit on your seat. Uh, we've got two paddles. I always bring two. Uh, one's a, what is this? Bending branches. The other one's a Winona. But I always bring two because I've had it just, it's not even a big deal usually, but like one time I was with Funk and I, the middle of the lake, it was a very windy day and she was way ahead of me and kind of just was fishing and I just look over and my paddle slipped away and like in the middle of the lake, there's nothing you can do when you're in a loaded down boat because I was, I can't remember if I was drifting faster than the paddle. I think I was drifting faster than the paddle and it just got away from me. I had to yell and hoot and holler, but ever since then I bring one uh, extra and I've had to use it a couple times, not even on a big deal, just like going through a little river thing and you're just like all of a sudden your paddle slips away, but I just bring two now. Uh, fishing poles. I've got a loose bait caster and bait caster uh, speed stick, box speed stick. I run 10 pound braid with a eight uh, pound test fluorocarbon leader. And then the other one, this is the, what is this, a Fluger Supreme with, with a Cherrywood Berkeley HD rod. This thing's crappy, but this is just uh, 10 pound mono. 
this is going to be my slip bobber and leech pole. This one's going to be, the other one's going to be my caster and troller. Okay, then I've got my hoodie, which is going to be my warm long sleeve. I treated all my clothes today in permethrin. Uh, I did this new method where I mix it up, and that's just, uh, we're going to see how that does for mosquitoes. I know it works for ticks, but we'll see. But that's my long sleeve. Uh, right here we've got, sorry, Rooks. Uh, this is a Thermarest Z Rest. Yep, this is Monty's mat. Uh, this is my food pack. It is a C2 Summit. What is this thing? C to Summit something. I think it's 35 liters. I don't know what it's called. C to Summit waterproof pack. That's what it is. Then this right here is the big bad boy. This is a Mech Slog HD or Deluxe. Uh, they stopped making these like two years ago. They were out of stock and it said it was discontinued. And I was really upset because these are like the greatest dry pack. I just love these things. It's huge. But they started making them again, or like at least having them in stock. I think it was just a mess with just getting materials and stuff. But they started making these again. Uh, I love this thing. It's pretty comfortable, even though I load it down. There's that. This right here, I've got Sea to Summit Event waterproof uh, dry sacks. It's got all my clothes. I've got a uh, thick pair of pants, a uh, thin long sleeve, uh, a thin t-shirt, extra pair of undies, few pair of socks. I've got a warmer hat and some gloves in here just in case. And then two layers of thermals, tops and bottoms. That's all the clothes I bring, which is, that is overkill for this trip. This is very late in the season. It's gonna be a warm kind of summer trip, but I still like to be prepared. I like to bring it, not need it, rather than need it and not have it. Okay, and then I've got my Muckmaster Muck Boots. Those are the high cut ones. Um, my tent here, I use the Eureka Midori 3. Uh, it's pretty roomy for being Monty. It's got two vegetables. I love this thing. I don't think I'm ever going to get another tent for the time being. I've actually got another newer version of this tent that I bought as a backup uh, that I just haven't opened yet. It's brand new. It's been sitting there for a year or two. And I'm not going to open it until this one goes bad. But Sometimes I just, like, if I see a deal, I'll just buy an extra one. This is actually the tent part, and this is the rain fly with the poles and the stakes. And this is a Alps Mountaineering Dry Sack. This has got my Thermarest Zero Degree Down Bag, or Synthetic Down Mixture Bag. Uh, it's overkill for this trip, but I'll just drape it like a blanket. Um, I've got two pillows. They're the Nemo Philo pillows in here. And then I've got two sleeping bag liners, which are the Sea to Summit Extreme. I don't know, they're very comfy. I'm going to use one over Monty's sleeping pad because well, he's falling asleep over there, but he ripped some pads last spring. So we're going to be safe. Anyway, that's that. For, for my muck boots there, I've got these waterproof socks. These are Seal Skins waterproof socks. These things are awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. These things are very waterproof. I filled up my muck boot many times and just had water sloshing around and these things keep my feet dry. And another thing that's crazy is uh, it kind of, they pull the moisture out of your foot. Like the outside of this, even if I don't get water on there, these will be wet and then I'll pull these off and my feet are bone dry. So I love these things. The only problem is after wearing them for like a season the back kind of rips apart and they lose their waterproofness so you go through them but they're kind of a necessity now they keep my feet dry then i've got a rain jacket rain pants i've got a monte poncho which is just a coleman junior poncho which i just cut off the front and you know i've got some rubber things and that's just the monte poncho there you go. Um, I'm also not going to pack all this uh, for you guys. I'm just going to kind of go through it because I'm I gotta get to bed here soon. Try to get some sleep. I've got my Tilly hat. I'm not sure what kind. It's just Tilly hat. I've got three Nalgene's. I bring two big ones and a little one. 
I've got these two extra large, these are REI quick dry towels. These things are nice, they actually feel like real towels. So I bring two, one for me, one for Monty. We'll be doing lots of swimming, I'm sure. Um, I've got a tarp, this is an AquaQuest guide. This is the 10 by 13 tarp. I always like to have a tarp in case it's raining and I want to sit there at camp, you always gotta have a tarp. Okay, and then I've got my Helionox Chair One. I got the ground sheet in there as well. Uh, I just this is one of my just requirements, having a nice something to rest your back on at the end of the day. Gotta have it. And then the new addition to uh, camping, I'm gonna try out this time is the Helionox Lightweight Cot. It's only two and a half pounds. It's the light cot. Uh, we'll see how it fits when I pack all this because I got some extra stuff. But yeah, I want to sleep comfortably, we're bringing it. Then I've got the Eureka footprint for my tent bottom. I've got two Thermarest uh, sleeping pads. I think these are the, these are the warmer ones, which I don't really need, but they're the, they're the only small ones I got. They're kind of like smaller. They're, I, I'm not sure what kind of, Neo Air Trekkers, something like that. Then I've got my map holder and the little bag, which Captain T.D. Trout showed me this one. It's like a cook's, cook sewing. And I've got my maps in there. It's got a little, little, little whistle. Uh, this actually clips on here and this goes to like a little bar on my canoe. Um, in here, I usually have, I've got Monty's little, I'm gonna put some stuff on his nose, the sun protector. I've got some GoPro mounts. I keep extra GoPro batteries in here. I've got my little pocket filter so I don't really bring out water when I'm traveling through the day. I've got my little, it's a MSR trail shot. Is it MSR? Trail shot, I know it's at least a trail shot. I think it's MSR. But yeah, trail, MSR trail shot. It's a little pocket filter, quick drink of water throughout the day. I just don't like to carry water when I have to wait. Got my sunglasses in here, and then I've got my bug lotion and sunscreen. So, I think it's gonna be pretty buggy this trip. So, yeah, that should be fun. Anyways, that's that. Look at that big pile of gear. Okay, and then this pack is just like a random assorted stuff. I've got like a book in there. I've got epoxy in case my canoe gets damaged. I've got a spare water filter. For the big filter, I've got extra uh, Ziploc baggies, gallons, and quart size. I bring a garbage bag um, in case like I get soaking wet clothes, and I gotta travel throughout the day. I don't want to have my stinky wet clothes kind of get all my other stuff wet, so I put them in a bag. What else? I've got a little multi-tool on this. This is my little emergency pack for patches. I've got a multi-tool in there, like I said. I've got. Um, a lighter that's wrapped in kind of clear duct tape. This is, I think this is more for like uh, waterproof patching on like the boat. So that's a quick patch if I need it. I do that with most of my lighters. I wrap them in duct tape or tape like that and then I put them in different parts of my pack. So I just got a dry lighter somewhere. And that's pretty much all that's in there. Just a assorted crap, like I say, you know, I got a little mirror. I've got some waterproofing stuff for my GoPro and yeah. I still got a few things I might add, but nothing that's like serious is gonna be added. Then we've got my pots and pans. I've got a Primus camp pan, an MSR little fry pan. And then I've got my MSR stowaway pot. I've got my big fillet knife that you always see me cutting with. My little fillet knife. My light my fire titan, titanium uh, spork. And then my spatula. And that's all in there. Okay, and then I've got my jet boil with a thing of fuel. There's a little jet boil system. I'm not sure what kind it is. I love the jet boil. It's great. Got an extra thing of fuel there. These last quite a while. I probably won't go through all that. But then we've got a 10 liter MSR gravity filter. I love this thing. 
Uh, yeah. You want to filter water for a lot of people. Even just me and Monty, like, I don't like to keep getting water. I just like to hang a big bag, get as much water as I need, and not have to dink around. It goes pretty quick. Uh, yeah, this thing's got a leak. It's had it since I bought it. I had the chance to return it and get a new one, but I was lazy about it, and it's fine. It's got a little leak, but it doesn't affect anything. It just drips a little water. Okay, and then I've got, what is this? The Silky Big Boy Saw. Uh, it's, in a, it's in the Agua Canyon Boreal 21 uh, cover. So the, the debate always is with the saw, and I always talk about this, is which saw is better. And for the soft wood I'm gonna run into on this trip, which is just soft, punky pine for the most part, not a lot of, I, you know, I'm not going to be taking down big old maple trees and dense hardwood. Uh, this saw performs a little better when it's that just soft, spongy wood that's just kind of crappier wood and just softer. Uh, the uh, Boreal Agua 21 or whatever, that saw, does a lot better on the hardwoods and I'm not going to be sawing any of that. I usually never find that. So I'll go with this one for this trip. Then we've got... Grand Forge Brooks little hatchet. It's got my logo on there. Gotta have a nice little hatchet. Then we've got my toiletry bag. I've got hand lotion because I've got psoriasis, as you can see, and dry skin. So, lotion, I've got eye drops from the wind drying out my eyes. Toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, floss, uh, chapstick. Always gotta bring chapstick. I like Carmex. Uh, when you're in the sun all day and you're licking your lips in the wind, like, chapstick is, it's, it's, a, I always am like, bring chapstick whenever I bring someone along. Oh, it seems like I'm rambling off a lot of stuff quick, it's because I drank a lot of coffee today and it's really late and I've been just go, go, go all day, so. I've got a lot more to do too, so anyways, let's keep going. I've got my GoPro here, this is going to be using a lot. I've got double, these are, what are these, lock, lock? lock line little this is what I attach this little thing and move my camera around every which way uh, yeah this is the GoPro Hero 8 I don't like anything past this the the 9 and the 10 they're just too big and they change the batteries and I'm not buying a whole bunch of new batteries it doesn't even do anything crazier so I'm sticking with the 8 and I'm not moving past it uh, besides that the weight of the newer camera, kind of when I have this sitting on the side, the boat rocking, the weight of the new camera, uh, Captain Teeny Trout, he was having issues with the two, the two beads, so I'm, I'm not changing that. So after the camera I use, use most of that. This bag is going to be, let's see, we've got the little black diamond emoji. This is actually the one that I found at my shelter. It works just fine. I left it there for, I think it was a year or two or something like that. I left it at that shelter, I went back and found it there. It still worked. And the batteries, I feel like it was just worked right. I just turned it on, it was working. I've got a bunch of AAAs and AA batteries for all my lights. I've got a Black Diamond Storm waterproof headlamp. We've got the camp knife here. This is, what is this, Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I bring a big knife. Uh, this is gonna be my nice knife for the trip. I don't need anything bigger than that. Got a bundle of paracord. And yeah, that's all that's really in there. Is that where my... I think the compass so the compass is in this other pack. I definitely bring a compass, but I know I had it and I checked it off my list. I just didn't look through that thoroughly enough. But anyways, I bring a nice big carabiner in case I need that. And I also bring a fire steel. This was actually made and sent to me by a subscriber. A subscriber made that. I love that thing. Okay, let's keep going. Like I said, I'm just rapid firing stuff, so I'm sorry if it's, you're having trouble paying attention. You're just gonna have to rewatch, and most of the stuff will be linked down in the description. I've got, I really gotta update my links. I know, my bad, but we'll get there. 
Um, this time I'm bringing out a little measuring cup to measure Monty's food. We've got the Monty brush. It's already got a bunch of schmutz in there and stinky stuff, so he's going to be really yelling at me about that. We've, we've concluded uh, that me and Funk kind of brush the same, and he is way more dramatic with me because he knows that I'll stop doing it and he can get away with it. So he's just, he's just tricking me is what he's doing. Okay, and then we've got, I think these are little Sea to Summit, yeah, little collapsible bowls. These are the Monty bowls. Nice little Monty bowls. I've got my first aid kit. This has got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go through this. It's just got the antibiotics, uh, band-aids, all sorts of goodies in there. Uh, Omeprazole for heartburn, stomach stuff, Tums. Uh, I've got that little super glue. It's like a veterinary super glue or something like that. It's for splits because I get a lot of splits in my fingers. Everything you need in a first aid kit. Mine's super stuffed. Uh, I also bring, I bring a little notepad in there and some pencils and stuff in case I want to write anything down or whatever. Whole bunch of stuff in there. It's a loaded, loaded first aid kit. Bigger than I need. Way bigger than I need. But I don't, it's fine. It's fine. Then we've got the camera pack. This thing weighs a lot. I've got 12 DSLR batteries, 12 GoPro batteries. I've got a backup GoPro 7, backup SD cards. I've got the light. I've got a little recharge. I've got four battery packs for recharging my GoPro and DSLR, DSLR batteries. Yeah, a whole bunch of battery power in here. That one's rough. I've got two rolls of TP. Um, it's a little overkill, but sometimes, you know, there's, there's crumplers out there and there's folders as far as how you do your teepee. You know, some people make it nice and neat. Some people kind of grab a ball. I'm a crumpler. You knew that. I didn't need to tell you that. Then we've got a GoPro chest mount. Oh, um, the other thing that I don't, this is, the rest of this is just food. So that's pretty much all the gear. Other than my canoe, which is a Winona Wilderness, it's already strapped to the car. I think that's everything. I mean, that's every, I mean, this pile here, I don't know if it's still on the camera, but that is everything I'm bringing. I'm trying to think, is there anything that it's not here? No. It's everything I am bringing on this trip is right here. Other than the food. So I'll just quickly go over the food, and then we're done. So, yeah. So, yeah, that, like I said, that's all the, the gear, but we'll just quickly run through some of the foods that I bring, and that's that. Uh, we got Monty's dog food, which is just all packed up enough for here. He's got his supplements. Uh, what I don't have here is my spaghetti is still dehydrating. I made my own dehydrated spaghetti, and it's going to be done like a couple hours. I'm going to have to pack that in the morning. So, that'll be fun. Well, this is the morning. I'm going to have to pack that in an hour or two. Yeah, I'm not getting much sleep seasoning. Anyways, got a Montreal steak seasoning. I'm gonna bring two bricks of cheddar cheese, a white onion, stick of butter, and a couple lemons. Then this pack here has got granola bars. I bring about three a day. Or no, this is my snack bag. I got beef jerky. I got Captain's wafers. I got some crunchies. I got some combos. I got candy that was sent to me by subscribers. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of snacks. Um, pretty much that's all snacks. Then I've got, like I said, granola bars. Uh, I bring a couple instant mashed potatoes for fish. Uh, I've got oatmeal, two, three packs for every morning. I've got coffee. Tried out some new coffee that was also sent to me by a subscriber. Um, I've got, what are those? They're uh, liquid IVs, uh, so that helps me drink water throughout the day and it's electrolytes. Uh, sometimes I just, I don't drink enough water, so Jake's always been saying, you know, flavor your water, and I finally did it, and I really like it, so I've got some liquid IVs, got some hot cocoa. Other than that, oh, I've got my almonds, my flavored almonds. Other than that, we're just eating spaghetti my fish dinners, hopefully I catch them. 
on my snack to oatmeal for breakfast, coffee, and that is that. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I bring on a week-long trip. I definitely got a little extra gear there, but hey, that's how I roll. So, I'm going to, you know, edit up this video here, get that posted before I go, and uh, pack up all my gear and try to get an hour or two of sleep. So, this video, when you're watching this video that I'm posting now, it's I'm going to be getting out of my trip right around a week from now. So I definitely won't have the trip edited up for next weekend. But the weekend after that, for sure, should be the first part. I think we're going to do the first extended part right away and do the extended version and then the condensed version after this time. So... I'm going to get to it. I'm going to finish up here, and me and Monty are going to go on an adventure quite soon. So, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Wish us luck. Sorry, Roots, you can't come. Come here, buddy. Come here.